Hi guys, Dragon Studios back with yet another figure view. Today we have Super 7's Ultimate Power Rangers Dragon Zord. Now, this line for me is really good. I'm a bit disappointed because a lot of people have been moaning about this line. That's why the Dragon Zord is cancelled because you don't expect people to bring out their products, you moan about it and then not give you them. I'm so disappointed. For me, this is quite a good Dragon Zord. There is one or two things about it that I was, 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 you know, a bit different, yes. But what you got to understand is, this isn't made to transform. You're not going to get all which stupid things that people are moaning about. This is a standalone figure. You know, if you've got the transforming Dragon Zord, you don't need this one then. If you haven't got one and you haven't got a lot of rooms like me, this is perfect. This is um, absolutely perfect Dragon Zord. I think it's only one or two things I think is wrong with it. Apart from that, I think this is really good. As I said, for someone like me who just wants a Dragon Zord for yourself to be with all these green rangers, this thing tops the thing for me. First thing it says, the box is pretty big. There it is, it's got a picture of the Dragon Zord on the back. It's got all the bio of the James Ward there, so if you want to stop this video and read it, you can. But obviously everyone knows about the James Ward. It's really, really, it's okay in, in my book. There are bits of like scuffs here and there and bits of problems about it, yes. But for me, they're small ones, small issues. The accessories, you get this lovely metal power coin. Absolutely metal, stunning with the Green Ranger one. What I love, I'll put that in my Green Ranger collection. You get a little Tommy, which people are known to say it looks nothing like him. Well, you try putting something that, that small, you know. This is what I love. You get two hands off with the, the missiles and the ability to fire, you know. <laughs> you get two fist hands, which one's already on him because I've been messing around with him and you get these hands which come with him in the package but these are reasons why i love this figure you actually get the missile hands where he's firing you know that's what i love and i think people don't give this thing too much love because they want it to be so accuracy i think if you want if you're a so accurate person, you shouldn't be doing figure reviews because not everything is going to be so accurate. Not everything. And I think that, again, that's the reason that the Tiger Sword was cancelled. This thing's really all right, actually. It does have a little bend. He does want to bend back all the time. But if I remember, the Dragon Sword in the show was always bent over just like that, if I remember. If I, like, he had his knees bent, he wasn't always stretched straight you know and yeah, his knees bent over if, if you just look at him his mouth does indeed open and shut really good yeah his arms just go up and down that that's a bit bummer for me but they could have just sort of put like a little slit there or an arm to go left and right but that's not the case so i'm not gonna gonna moan to that much 50 pounds you can't really moan um, it's got a little swivel in the amps there and there. Is it legs can come up, which is really good. You can go back as well, so you can do like walking poses that like he's walking and everything. Look, this is what I mean. Wants to fall back, but you can put the tail down. The tail is very well articulated so that you can have the tail wherever you want input, that sort of thing. This doesn't move like on the others, and a bit of head tilt would have been nice. But the paint on this is really well, well done. I really do like the paint. Um, the drill bit moves on the end. I think people moan too much about him. And I think that's the trouble. And I am a bit disappointed because I had the Tiger Sword. I was you know, looking forward to him. I was going to put all of him. He's second my favorite, second favourite Zord. And because I think a lot of people mo moaned about the line, they could... Sorry, they're going to stop the line. I think that's really upsetting because you've only heard the White Ranger was for, um, way four, and yeah, but no, definitely. If you expect this guy to transform, don't buy him because this is supposed to be just a standalone figure with the Green Ranger. 
so it looks really nice on the shelf and that's what he's made for like what poses are we going to put him in like have to take this one out look and you can put it's that one in it like you can put Like you can put the fire hand in his arm, let's see. And then you can use it to like which looks really cool. I really do not mind that at all, let's see. That looks really cool up, up on your shelf. Put his legs sort of out like that, his hands sort of like, like that sort of thing. And there you go, he's firing his missiles off. That's all I want. So yeah, as I said, if you just want to stand around Dinosaur to just go on yourself with your figures that you know not too big you ain't got a lot of room just like me this is perfect pick this guy up for the ottomans um yeah the the ranges on mm, they're all right because i don't have mine with civilian edge the lightning collection's really got that i'm definitely gonna pick the line up but tell me if you like like the line let me know on your thoughts on, on this as well. I'm clicking it, I like it. Until when, Dragon Sonia signing out and stay safe, guys. Dragon Sword, Missile Mode.